my channel, All Things Psych. My name is Brittany. I am a licensed clinical psychologist and an adjunct professor. If you are watching this video, then likely you are looking for additional EPPP study tips. Well, you've come to the right place. I can help you with that process. So, without any further delay, let's go right into today's video. This section will cover the disorders included under depression. Now the acrostic that I've chosen to use in order to remember each of these disorders is as follows. Dear Mrs. Debbie Downer, my dear, here's prescribed drugs for pleasant days. Again, dear Mrs. Debbie Downer, my dear, here's prescribed drugs for pleasant days. Now that breaks down to the following. The first, dear Mrs. Debbie Downer, refers to disruptive mood dysregulation disorder. My dear, refers to major depressive disorder. Prescribed drugs, refers to persistent depressive disorder. Pleasant days, refers to premenstrual dysphoric disorder. The next is major depressive disorder. For this disorder, five symptoms are needed for diagnosis. These symptoms must be experienced daily for at least two weeks. It is required that the client experiences either adhedonia, which is a loss of pleasure, or depressed, irritable mood. Here's a way to remember those five core symptoms. By five rhymes, head, bed, fed, dead, and unsaid. Head refers to the cognitive experience of a depressed individual, which includes poor concentration, worthlessness. Bed refers to sleep problems, either hypersomnia or hyposomnia. Insomnia. Fed refers to appetite, either increased appetite, decreased appetite, and weight problems weight gain or weight loss. Dead refers to suicidal thoughts. Unsaid refers to the psychomotor issues, either psychomotor agitation or psychomotor retardation. Unsaid being short for unsedated or unsedentary. And then also it could be the opposite, obviously. Depression. I like to use the head, bed, fed, bed, and said because I'm remembering five things. And so that helps me to keep in mind that there's five core symptoms that need, five symptoms that need to be met. Um, and it also obviously helps me to remember the actual symptoms better. <laughs> uh, as far as duration, it's important to remember two blue weeks. Two blue weeks gives the duration of the fact that these symptoms have to occur daily for two full weeks. All right, that concludes this video. Stay tuned for the next one where I will go into more information about the specifiers for major depressive disorder and continue on with persistent depressive disorder. Until next time, happy studying.